And now it is my pleasure to introduce Ross Cohn, a former paratrooper and a veteran of the war in Afghanistan and the director of Mission Serve. Airborne. Airborne. Thank you, Michael. Good afternoon. It is great to see a room so full of so many talented veterans and military spouses. The Army taught me that nothing is possible without the right team, and today is no exception. And so I would like to say thank you to Sir Howard, Michael Linton, and the entire team at Sony Pictures Entertainment for being incredible hosts. A thank you to Mrs. Patty Shinseki, who is with us today on behalf of Joining Forces. A huge thank you to our title sponsor, Bank of America, who have been amazing partners. Thank you. <laughs> Bank of America have been amazing partners to Mission Serve since we launched together in 2009. And I'm pleased to announce that this week, the bank has renewed its commitment to Mission Serve for another year to support veteran and military spouse reintegration. Thank you to all of our great partners on the Mission Serve Corporate Champions Council who believe in the power of our veterans and military families. And thank you to the U.S. and Los Angeles area chambers of commerce for bringing jobs to our veterans and military spouses both in Southern California and around the country. Thank you to the USO and to Blue Star families who know in your DNA, as do we at Mission Serve, that service and volunteerism are the best ways to bring together civilian and military communities. Thank you to all of our friends from DOD, the Department of Labor, California's EDD, Employment Secure of the Guard and Reserves, SHRM, the Markham Group, and so many more. And lastly, I am most excited to thank all of the veterans, service members, military family members, and employers who are here in this room today. I am here as the director of Mission Serve, the civilian military wing of the Service Nation campaign. Mission Serve brings together civilian and military communities through service, through partnerships, and through volunteerism. But I'm also here today, more importantly, as a veteran. And I know what you all know, that veterans and military spouses are civic assets possessing of an extraordinary set of skills and experiences. But I also know that it can sometimes be difficult to translate those skills to the civilian workforce. But it shouldn't be that difficult. Military folks have the management skills alone that should be coveted by every company out there. A young captain in the Army or Marine Corps, for example, is responsible for managing a team of 120 men and women and literally tens of millions of dollars of equipment. Military spouses do the type of organizing and managing frequently as volunteers that translate to being senior executives in the nonprofit and private sectors. And we all know how to operate under very tight deadlines and challenging environments. Employers need resourceful and reliable employees. And veterans and military families are just that. And we are ready to serve and we are ready to work. Thank you. You're welcome. So the bottom line is that companies and nonprofits and government should be recruiting veterans and military spouses, not because it is the right thing to do for the country, but because it's good for business. And I am honored that Mission Serve and all of our partners can connect these communities as we have been for nearly two years since we began our efforts with the support of First Lady Michelle Obama and Dr. Jill Biden. Today, this work begins to reach across the Atlantic. In partnership with the foundation of Prince William and Prince Harry, we hope to learn and to humbly offer suggestions about our experiences, the successes and the challenges that our nation's military communities have faced over the past 10 years. As we have served together, we should reintegrate together. And it is in that spirit of partnership that it is my great honor introduced a very distinguished officer, a search and rescue pilot, 
in the 22 Squadron Royal Air Force. I would tell you a little more about him, but this is an officer who needs no introduction. <laughs> Citizens, service members, veterans, and members of the great military family, it is my honor to introduce His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge. Well, uh, I'm not sure I deserve that introduction. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for the warm welcome, thank you.